Hi and welcome back to Kickstart, I'm Rachel Holmes. So this little episode is to give you some more in-depth information about wheat and why we get rid of wheat from the diet when you do Kickstart. Now wheat that you find today in 2015 is very, very different to the wheat that we had back in the 1960s and the 1970s. It's often imported from North America into the UK and it has been grown in all different conditions. It's a very different form of wheat than we formerly knew. And the tricky thing with wheat is it's marketed as a healthy food. So you see it in cereals, you know, you see the whole grains little logo. And actually when you understand the effects that wheat has on the body, then you might realize that it's nowhere near as healthy as is being marketed to us. In fact, it's a complete fat loss and health catastrophe. And I'll tell you why. If you have, for example, a bowl of your favorite whole grain cereal in the morning, or you have maybe two slices of brown toast, what happens is your blood sugar level will spike, it will get higher than if you've eaten six teaspoons of sugar. Can you believe that? It spikes that high, or it, that's even higher than if you've consumed a Snickers bar. Now, if you've been following Kickstart, you've been watching your, my videos, you know that controlling your blood sugar levels and your hormones is key. It's no longer about calories in and calories out. It's really about maintaining those blood sugar levels. That is crucial. So to start with, any kind of wheat will spike your blood sugar level really, really high. Now that can't happen in isolation. So at the same time as that is spiking, your blood insulin level is also spiking. Now you keep doing that on a repetitive basis, then you become insulin resistant. And what happens then is visceral fat starts to build up as a consequence of those hormones being secreted and those blood sugar levels repetitively being raised around your midsection. So in effect, over time, you grow a wheat belly. Yes, a wheat belly. And that all takes about two hours. So you can actually see this and you can feel it happening. So you have your cereal in the morning at seven o'clock. Blood sugar rises, insulin level rises, you become, start to become insulin resistant. Fat becomes a byproduct of that visceral fat around your midsection. Your blood sugar levels start to crash, you come down, your appetite starts to increase. The whole cycle begins again two hours later. So by nine o'clock, you're then craving, you're wanting something again, more wheat-based or sugar-based. So maybe you have um, some low-fat crisps, or maybe you have a piece of fruit, which is sugar, which again will spike, and the whole cascade just constantly keeps going. Eating wheat will constantly make you hungry every two hours. That spike will just keep happening throughout the day. And over time, over weeks, months, years, decades, that will lay down around your midsection, around your belly, and around your love handles, which in turn, on a health perspective, can lead to heart disease, diabetes, it can lead to IBS problems, skin problems, joint problems, migraine, PMS, mood swings, irritability, so many other outcomes and byproducts of constantly eating what is marketed as a healthy whole grain product when actually the wheat that we're consuming now there's no resemblance to the wheat it's not even almost a foodstuff it's so toxic when the body ingests it on a regular basis so if you don't do anything else in 2015 cut out your wheat get rid of it completely and also get to be a food detective look at labels find out where wheat is hiding get rid of it so your brown rice and your pasta and your brown bread all these kind of foods that are derived from wheat are going to have that catastrophic effect on not only your waistline but your health and your brain function it's one of the most important things to eliminate once you eliminate it the drastic changes that you will see, firstly, around your midsection, everybody that eliminates wheat completely and really does eliminate wheat, and you do this seriously, see a massive, massive improvement around the midsection. The belly flattens pretty quickly. You'll see a difference in a few days. Joint pain starts to go, back aches start to go. All these niggles that I've talked about in previous videos can easily be helped and improved once you get rid of wheat. 
So something to think about there. There's a, there's a lot more to that subject. It's also wheat has got um, some additives in it that, are, that actually keep you craving more and more. It's in fact the perfect food to keep our society obese. The more we eat, the bigger we get. So this one big tip today is cut out the wheat, get rid of it for at least two or three weeks and see how you look and you feel. Make sure you message me. I want to hear about your stories about your wheat belly and if you've managed to conquer that wheat and the differences that you feel. Comment below and let me know what you think.